is episode two, season two of Nooks and Crannies. We really appreciate you guys and the feedback that we got from the last video. You guys especially seem to be enjoying the accessibility of our new platform. So we're really grateful and for all of those new visitors from Sweet St. Lucia, we ask you guys to continue to recommend and share the videos as we, we take you to one of my favorite spots in Rodney Bay. This is the Jamrock Cafe and this is quite the international setup. It's a spot where everyone is welcome. The food is eclectic and the aromas from the kitchen are oh my days sensational. Beyond that, the composition of the drink menu is something to really behold and they find a way to tie everything into that theme which we find so enjoyable. You guys are going to enjoy this little culinary journey with us and we're going to take you on an adventure as per usual. Have a little conversation with the chef to see where his inspiration spawned from and of course have a little chat with the bartender and see where we can find ourselves some fantastic things and see as we go on as whether well our mood increases or whether I start to lean a little bit. But again, we'll check in with you guys in a bit. Peace. So we find ourselves at the bar in one of my favorite locations in Rodney Bay Jam Rock with the ultimate bartender, Ali. And he's going to run us through one of their signature cocktails. So can you give us a little run on as to what to expect? Right. So basically what you should expect is more or less a Bob Marley. Bob Marley as in ice cream and gold. A oh, combination fine. of three colors. Yeah, you're going to have a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow in the center, and top of that a little bit of green. Oh, I yeah. see, I see, I see. And so what are the components of that? They're to achieve the these colors. All right, so basically what happens is like the strawberry part which is most likely is the red part uh -huh. the red part that's actually like a rum base the second part is actually a mango base which actually is actually a water base and to the top is a mixture of a little bit of blue rose and also some more mango in there yes. oh. you see that thing is if you know your colors then you can mix and then you can make more colors out of anything you see kids at school we'll be drinking Bob Marley's but listen the color <laughs> wheel makes a lot of sense so this is super dope so we're gonna take Jump in with both feet, huh? So the first thing I get is the mango. I really like mango, so that's a plus. But I'm generally not certain as to how many of these you can have. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, and then it tastes good, so you, you want to go really quickly, but then all your childhood memories will probably tell you brain food is is evident so balance is everything from a flavor profile standpoint it's super dope and clearly he knows what he's doing and i think the more that i speak the more that it mixes so maybe i might go back because it's yeah winning um just by chance um if someone comes in what is that retail for they would get it for that retail for it's about like 20 ec 20 ec yeah. i mean for the, the mix of things you get in there and the wonderful the thing things is, huh? the thing is this type of drink it's, it's made to enjoy and like when you enjoy you see the thing is it's always balanced so it's like you can have one then you can have two then you can have three probably after the 10th one i'll be worried one yeah. two three four <laughs> ten flow <laughs> it is and i like the garnish as well it's very well put together very tropical and so if you're one of those people who are from coming from abroad and you come in this definitely is the island in a glass you know what i mean fantastic things in store for us today and like we were speaking the menu here is quite eclectic but they find a way to tie everything to the theme and from what I understand there based on the aromas that we've been seeing from that kitchen there are some fantastic things in store so Chef Jerry give us a little run for us to what to expect and what, what are you guys what are you bringing out for us today? I'm going to bring out a very good meal right? Two ox tail. Oh, yeah, that's decadent right okay okay. Super Creole. Awesome. And what is this seafood creole that it comprises of? It comprises of clam. Is it? Okay. Mussels. Yeah. Fish. And calamari. Oh my days, a lot of things from the deep. And, and this, this is the ambit of what we're having today? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. That sounds fantastic. So, I'm curious, how long have you been in this kitchen in particular? Uh, this one could be eight months. Wow, okay. And, and generally, how long has your love for food you know, been around? How long have you been in the kitchen? How long have you been trying different flavor profiles? Uh, almost 30 years now. Oh, so we have a serious veteran here in Chef Jerry. 30 years of experience. Is it still a joy to come in? Yes, 
it is. Awesome, awesome. That is, you know, that is something that I tell people food is a thing that is so important, not just as a sustenance, but for the memories that you have there. When you have a good dish, it takes you back to somewhere in your childhood, some great memory you had with friends. And so I'm hoping that at the end of this there, you guys remember to ensure you try the oxtail from Chef Jerry and that curry it's a must. He, The man says it's a must. It's a must. We'll hold him to that, right? <laughs> good vibe, good vibe. Chef so Jerry, thanks so much. We'll check in with you in the kitchen in a bit to see you doing your magic inside of there, right? No problem. Thank you so much, you man. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing what's going on here and maybe you didn't know that this was part of the attraction right you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome so I think Miss Bianca is going to be the one going on top of that there for us and it's going to be fire yeah so you guys check in and enjoy Chef Jerry is very inundated with work right now. Chef Jerry can join us to eat the fruits of his labor. So Chef Jerry, we're going, well we hope we enjoy the fruits of your labor. Cause we went in the kitchen and look for you. Eh? So let's see what's going on there with the curry goat and the oxtail and see how we proceed and what we enjoy and do we recommend you guys having it, right? Okay. It's no surprise that I'm starting with the curry goat I'm really big on curry, I'm really partial. So let's see how we go. Beautiful. Hmm. Disclaimer, I make a really good curry goat, so my bar is cut. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir, Chef Jerry, you will notice there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, very much. You can see there's quite a bit of coconut milk in here. Jesus. Mm. So my mom says, you shouldn't talk with your mouth for a second. So really and truly right at the forefront, you cannot, like you cannot miss that coconut milk. It is there, it is potent, it is fragrant, and we don't mind it. For me personally, the goat meat is good, very fresh, but I would prefer it just slightly a bit more moist. Um, but I guess some people don't like to take the chance and ensure that it's cooked all the way through. So that's my one thing I'd be a bit eh about. However, from a flavor standpoint, amazing. So many good things happening with our mouth. And let's see how the rice pairing goes. It feels like it's infused with garlic, a bit of butter, maybe a touch of saffron as well, I would say. I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest on that, but I quite enjoy how it pairs after the curry, so that's good. For me, I would probably like a little bit more heat, but for the average palate who's probably not singed off most of their tongue, this is a very good place to be, all right? Awesome try out this these greens so we get nice and strong very cool still which looks really decadent and in true Jamaican fashion we have it paired with some rice and red beans and some fried plantains for our Latin American viewers we have some platanos you dig so now we're gonna move forward and see how it goes there our friend which we just met a while ago who was on the bull with us had the oxtail and he could not stop singing his praises so here we are and here we go so let's see what's going on chin chin mm, okay okay oh, it's very soft which is good i didn't say anything you have to use your hand you understand mm. Mm. 
is succulent, juicy, really rich. And that's kind of what you expect from oxtail. So if you didn't get one of those adjectives when you have a bowl of oxtail, it's probably not the business. This on the other hand, but wait, but wait, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's see what's going on with these rice and peas. It's like rice and red beans. Um, maybe I would have liked a little coconut milk in there, but I think we're getting the coconut milk fixed in the goat, so it's all right. And let us look for those platanos. Fantastic. Well, it's not quite right plantain, not super sweet or soft as you can see, but a bit firmer. I take it back. It's sweet. Not soft, but sweet. And they seem to have paired it with some salad and a garlic based vinaigrette. Alright, see what's good with it. The vinaigrette is lit. You can literally come here and have the salad and the vinaigrette and you'll be equally happy. So, as much as we enjoy you guys tuning in with us and enjoying this, because it's this good, guess what's happening with you? Right, Nicholas, so what are we having this afternoon, my umbrella? So yeah, this afternoon we'll be having the lagarita. Yeah, and what does this lagarita comprise of? Well, the lagarita it consists of six ounces of tequila, Jesus. four ounces of vodka, four ounces of white rum, uh -huh. two ounces of triple sec. Yeah. We also have two ounces of sugar and two ounces of wine. A little ounce of blue curacao to get the color up. I see, I see. And then you know you kind of top it up with two bottles. One bottle of carry and a bottle of snack. What is special call that put your flat in? Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it normally does after you know put your flat. Jesus! <laughs> I'm talking about tequila, vodka, blue curacao, stack car a lot of things, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It comes in a very big glass, so you know has a lot of stuff in it. When you come into jam rock. Make sure you call us Sluva, right? <laughs> it's not simple. <laughs> Alright, my brother, so we'll, we'll see you do your thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. We'll wait for the magic, right? Lagarita in the fishbowl because you end up like a fishbowl after the fishbowl, you dig? So, Alright, let's see what's going on with that here. My word. Alright, let's see. I have to move that one around. Get that one closer to me. Alright, let's see what's going on with So, when you drink most cocktails, you don't taste in the alcohol, so you know that, you know, a lot of them will put you flat. But the first thing I taste is tequila, and let me tell you, it have no good story for me that does start <laughs> with the first thing I taste is tequila. So, be ready, is what I would say. And just, how much would something like this run generally? Uh, 40 EC. Right, and it's worth every penny. Alright? Because in the first sip for me that my word. So you guys ensure that you come down Jamrock, check it out. Ensure that you have a sluba. I cannot stress that enough, right? So let me go and deal with that and we'll talk to you guys in a minute. Peace.